During the COVID-19 pandemic, so many things have changed in our lives, and one of those is the way we work. We have learned that we can adapt brilliantly as individuals and as teams, and run our businesses in a way that we never imagined possible. Leaders who may have previously been doubtful about flexible working now know there are many ways of doing things, and we can be hugely productive and collaborative when working more flexibly together. Now, I think attitudes towards flexible working definitely have shifted, an absolute epic um, uh, shift. I think the attitude towards remote working has probably been a more positive shift and one that will be sustained into the future. I think the attitude towards the flexibility element of it will be potentially one that people we will struggle with for a while to come in terms of fully embracing it. I think attitudes and confidence levels from the perspective of employers has changed and changed for the better as a result of the last 12 months experience. And then the second perspective is from the perspective of the employee. They've wondered about flexible working and remote working probably for some time. Some of them have dabbled in it, but all of them have been kind of catapulted into it in the last 12 months. And I think the feedback I'm getting for most people is that it has been a positive experience. In the past year, I think every company had to respond very, very quickly uh, to remote um, and agile working and the needs of our employees in particular, where homeschooling was required and um, where people were unable to attend the office and we wanted to be able to keep our business operating. I think the fact that we transformed um, rapidly and moved to a situation where 100% of people could work from home has kind of proven the concept that people can work Work productively. In a civil service context, we know that the case for blended working also supports kind of wider societal um, benefits as well. So we have the move to flexible working supporting commitments in the programme for government. 